I got a message from my Verizon Files message center saying that the, my battery in my NOT, the network box, has to be replaced. So I came down to the basement and looked at this box here and the replaced battery light came on. It's a red LED. So the battery's been in there actually for about six years so I figure it was time to replace it. When I measured the voltage it was actually 13.08 volt so theoretically it was still good but since it's been there for like six years so I replaced it just the same and all you have to do is just unplug the clips put a new one in. I got this from Mighty Max it's a 7.2 amp hour 12 volt battery and it's less than twenty dollars you can of course get the Verizon ones uh, I'm not sure how much those would cost so you put it in and you press this button here for two seconds and the light should come on and then um, when you after you reset it only the screen light would be on the green light just means there's a system status and of course when you don't have power the the battery light would come on and you can continue to use your telephone for about eight hours depending on the strength of the battery so if you don't want to replace it if the voltage is still like 13.1 volt or so I guess you can just you can just reset the unit and see if that will keep the uh, alarm from uh, beeping because when the battery light the replaced battery light comes on the alarm would uh, would beep every so often and you can also silence it by pressing this for a few seconds and it will stop for 24 hours and it will uh, it will resume So this is the 12 volt battery that I took out from the Files uh, backup box. I charged it a couple of days ago and this, the voltage is still holding at 13.1819 volt. You can use it for an LED lamp like this. This is 4 watts. So uses very little power and um, if I need to use this as an emergency light I just plug the clip on I'll just clip it on and I'll use a plug like this plug it in and I have light I have light right this is pretty bright this is what I normally use in the bedroom. It's not overwhelming but it's bright enough. So when you don't have power this will run it. That fan only needs a few watts to run so this is 7.2 amp power so uh, it's like 80 watts or so so you can run that fan for hours and um, yeah all you have to do is just clip it, plug the plug in, clip it on and uh, you have you have lighting, you have uh, a fan that you can use or you can uh, power your uh, boombox that's the boombox that I made and uh, runs from 12 volt up to 24 volt so those are a few things that you can use this battery is still good. There's also a 5 or 6 amp hour battery in there. And this battery pack has an inverter. But that would be an 
an efficient way to use the battery power because this thing would probably probably take a couple of watts to run so it will drain your battery that much quicker but because it has an inverter it is more convenient you to use and just press it and the light comes on this is the regular AC this is a regular AC bulb whereas this one here is uh, DC this is like 13.2 volts and uh, but it's bright enough only draws about 4 watts okay so uh, before you recycle or throw out your old Fios battery check to make sure that you're not throwing out a battery that is still good this one is actually made in Taiwan so I assume it will be a little better than the ones uh, that you buy now they're mostly from China alright thanks for watching